shy and slightly too to get the 3D effect completely right, especially some of the game design decisions that need to be kind of considered as well, such as what to do with crosshairs, for example, and other hand elements. It's pretty, it's really, really amazing. And again, this will be 3D. So you want to just uh, give us a little overview of, uh, you know, where you want to take the game, what players can expect. Okay. How you get rid of the Sorry? How you get rid so the one thing that we wanted to do for Killzone 2 is basically Killzone 3 <laughs> is basically kind of go a lot bigger and a lot better. So one thing that we want to do is get a lot more environmental variety. So this is the first time that we're snowing in a snow environment, but the final game will also feature a space environment, a jungle environment, basically as you know, wide and show as much of the, of the housing planet as possible. The other thing that we want to do is basically come up with a lot more freeform gameplay, which you know, was uh, the Jetpack is a good example of that one actually. In general, basically, the, the combat has evolved a lot since it kills in two in that regard. Uh, and also, in terms of pure mechanics, uh, we've introduced a whole new melee system, which is now a lot more brutal, which allows you to kind of stab guys in the eyes or break their neck. Uh, but it's also context sensitive, so if you're standing close to cover, you'll like to kick him into the cover or kick him against the wall, and then use the cover of the wall, bash his skull in, or whatever you can do with it. Nice. You can also do the same to you, apparently. What? I said they can do. They can also do the same thing. You know, basically your body, I, got, I got cut there. The, the bodies and the, like Rico, for example, can also do it in the enemy. So sometimes basically you're walking into a room and you see Rico strangling a guy there. <laughs> How long did it take to implement the uh, the 3D? Was it like uh, did, did you find it like challenging? Was there a large uh, investment well, requirement? There's been a small team on it. Uh, basically one producer and about two coders and a designer, and they've been on it for about six, seven months now. Okay. Basically on and off, kind of tweaking small things. Uh, we're still finding things that basically don't completely work and basically have to kind of look at how to deal with the depth for that. Uh, one aspect, for example, is the blood effect that you see around the edges where we're still uh, happy how that sits on the screen. Uh, we're constantly, constantly finding new techniques on how to actually improve that. Very, very cool. Well, thanks a lot, man. No Thank you very much. Uh, do you have like a business card? I can send this uh, uh, to you. Sorry, I don't have any business cards with me back. I'll write down my name. Sure. Yeah.